Hi, I'm Ian Hartman, Solution Architect at Western Computer. And in this short video, we're going to focus on the landed cost module. Do you need to track purchase orders as goods move from the point that you take ownership to the final destination? Do you need to receive the goods at the overseas dock and again at the warehouse? Do you need to capture different costs along the way? Do you need to record invoices from the merchandise vendor as well as the shipper? Have you created workarounds or even written custom code to handle these challenges? Then the landed cost module might be right for you. While I will be reviewing how existing tables need to be adjusted in order to take advantage of this functionality. So this is my landing page. This is where I normally land and I've created a new tile for landed costs. We're going to be working from here. So let's get started. We're going to create a brand new voyage. Of course, I can get here from the landed cost module. All voyages. And I'm going to create a brand new voyage. And let's call this Western 2. I don't need a booking reference, but of course I can add one if I want. A vessel could be hand keyed here, but as I mentioned, I'm a fan of master table. It allows me to do things. For example, this vessel is already signed a mode of delivery. So let's say I pick yellow star, the mode of delivery comes in. It's also good for querying at a later point in time. I can use it. We're going to go Shanghai to Long Beach here. And I'm going to pick my shipping vendor, 1002, and I'm not going to put in any kind of bill of lading now. I could add it at any point in time. So based on what the system sees right now, I'm going to clear out this filter. And I'm going to, by using these options of warehouse and mode of delivery, you'll notice it presented my purchase order, 526. So we're going to select that. Now, what are we doing? We're putting this into a staging area. We're staging it so that there could be many things in staging. Those staged purchase orders or lines would then go into shipping containers. Shipping containers are added to voyages. Shipping containers also reside in folios. Without getting into too much detail, there are tables, folios, containers, vessels that have to be configured in the system once I add this particular PO into a new shipping container, since none exist, otherwise I'd have add to existing, we would be able to use that information in the folio as well. So I'm going to pick this 20 foot full container load. And I don't know a ship date yet. I don't have a waybill number. I do know that it's 16 cubic feet. So I'm going to throw that in as well. Okay. Once that's there, I can view the folios in the container. It just created that folio for the container. I don't have to. We're just going to back all the way out. And if I refresh, you'll notice there's my new Voyage Western 2. So the Voyage has been created. And the next step would be to start talking to the shipper and seeing what kind of timing they have available. Now the legs that are assigned for this trip are to load, sail, go through customs, and then end up on a truck for local delivery. But I could add additional activities that again, user-defined activities, so I can say, well, maybe I want to inspect the goods first and put time onto that. I'm not going to. I get on the phone with the shipper and they go, you know, I can actually, the vendor tells me they can get it there today. Shipper says, fine, I can start sailing tomorrow. Perfect. So let's get it loaded then today. So I'm going to put in today's date. And when I save it, the system automatically, based on those legs, projects out how many days it's going to take to get these goods on 514 back into our warehouse. So if I come over to the purchase order and we notice the confirmed delivery date is blank and I refresh it, you'll see the landed cost module has updated it to that date. Furthermore, it's added the voyage and set the status to confirm. Now, as soon as I start shipping it, this ship date's gonna come into play as well. So that's it in a nutshell. If there's anything else that you wanna see, I can be reached at ian.hartman at Western Computer. I hope you enjoyed this quick session of landed costs. Thank you for attending. Take care.